some guys they put out like three, four hundred thousand miles. I like, know, oh, it's crazy. It's crazy. I found one guy at 150,000. Yeah, good job. Yep, that's what, that's what the Lama told me. He said, yes, 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 yes. you know, put another 70,000 miles on it, bring it back to me. He said, we'll change the time to change. So there's a lot of writing with that kind of Yeah. 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 Write a lot. That's the one that I'm thinking of on that. It's a lot of fun. I love to ride, but you know, it's it's right. but, um, interstate, interstate high speed because I've got the radiation in the back and the helmet on. And, and just yeah, them, you know, yeah, it just, it's not enjoyable, you know what I'm saying? It's just not enjoyable. So, I, I can ride all day, 45, just the difference of the wind factor. With the helmet on, the weight of the helmet, and then the wind hitting, my neck's just on fire. Like, uh, so about an hour, it's no, it's not too much. Yeah, why do you think that? It, what do you do? It's no fun, yeah. For us to work all the time, and we'll take country rides, you know what I mean? And I love getting high on that. Um, I like, I'll jump on the highway and go to the highway, but what, eight and stuff like that, you know what I mean? Sure. Yeah. Um, 30 minutes, whatever, stuff like that. And as far as a long ride, um, it does it wouldn't be a lot of people. At least not right now. We're still trying to work on it. Getting up at the road, eight blocks. You guys put up rice for like from church, you know, the little places. Like, you know, there are writers from the bedroom. Yep, yep, yep. When's the rainy season starting? We're getting a few more guys that are getting bikes too. So, like this year we had uh, guys in the car that we had in the church in the last year. We're not doing the crazy connection. Um, so there's two writers that we have again this year. Then we had two people that have gotten bikes, you know, since last year. One of them has arrived. He's like, man, that looks like so much fun. I gotta get a bike. And so right after that, about a month later, he had a bike. And uh, he's a young guy. He's a dentist. And he's like, he told his wife, said, I gotta go bike. So they talked her into it. So what did he get? Yeah, you know, he's, he's pretty. He's a pretty small, like petite uh -huh. frame guy. Probably weighs. I don't know. Brian probably weighs about 145 pounds. So he got a yeah. Um, uh, Suzuki. Big um, I think it's a 600. Oh, yeah, he's got any kind of entry level bike. His wife's real petite too. And she writes for so, uh, so, yeah. 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 <laughs> My wife? Yeah, it was a babysitter. Oh, wow. She was in the glass. She didn't make no. Chris enjoys it. She actually, when I had my 750 Virago, she could ride it. So I'd like to get a mid sized bike for her to you know, be able to ride with. Yeah. It's fun to ride, you know what I mean, with somebody that, like, with somebody. So yeah. I don't know if that makes sense. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And she grew up driving, you know, stick shit and everything. So her family's got a five generation house maybe business. She was driving lead trucks. You know, so she was doing four or five miles an hour. And uh, I mean, these huge houses that they move and stuff. Um, big buildings, they just need a, a lead truck. So she was like 13, 14 years old driving a little Ford Ranger, five speed, you know, or four, four speed, whatever it was back then. And, uh, I got way too excited funny. over this yesterday. But they it's have, like, it's like I mean, here, you know, like at the church. Argentina. Uh -huh. I mean, uh -huh. all the way. You know, my husband. They have a I love it. You remember the little Honda? I wish I still had it because there were some money. The little uh, Honda trail bikes. Uh, they had the little ski, you know what I mean? And, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. I had one of those. I got a mini bike when I was like five years old. <laughs> and then I was probably about seven when I got my first real, you know, that Honda trail. And then I wound up getting, I uh, got rid of that uh, XL, little Honda XL 75. And I uh, ran the wheels off of that thing. And, yeah, and then I just wrapped that thing out, man. And, and, uh, wound tied everywhere. And then I uh, had a YZ 125. Uh -huh. And then I uh, bumped into the, I was 16, I got a GSL 1000 Suzuki when I was 16. Oh, my. That was way too much bike, and I was way too crazy. It's amazing I'm alive today. But, uh, she, that's when we started dating. She'd ride on the back of that thing. Yeah. 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 Wow. That's so stupid. I don't the way I remember it, especially with the basket.
At that age, you don't have common sense yet. Yeah. The boy's brain ain't wired to common sense at 16. We almost go to the back of the bus. Yeah. Yeah. Me and Roma, we've done some like, crazy oh, things. Oh, yeah. goodness. Yeah. yeah, 100, 350. Oh, yeah. Yeah, I was actually 400. And we were racing home. Oh, yeah. We could have all that weight. One time, we did a dumb thing, you know? It's like, you see this room because she's heavy. You know, and you, got, and you have a, but it's here, oh, it's 400, minus 350. Right, right, right. Well, let's come to see this. Oh, okay. Hang on, she's mad. That's hilarious. That's hilarious. <laughs> That's hilarious. So we put a face. Oh, my <laughs> word. Oh, my and word. And we just go like this. And, Whoa. and then we, no. Listen, I don't know how I got it. That's funny. Oh my goodness. Somehow I managed. Oh my goodness. Isn't it crazy we just yeah, oh my goodness. I remember my mom had had that uh, gallbladder surgery. She was in the hospital. And my dad was kind of working on it. It was always a real unique thing. I mean, my daughter's not going to bless her. You know, I was like 12 years old. I'm thinking, I don't remember now. So I got a buddy of mine. And he was just like, I'm all right. He doesn't have a ride. I'm like, okay, I'll teach you, but we gotta keep it here in the backyard. You know, we live in town. So I took him back there, and I'm showing him there. And, uh, I have a cup. Back, and I know him and stuff. So, you know, I want to look at myself. This is up there. Yeah. So, yeah, they have to do like two feet in the back. Yeah, yeah. You know, and that thing went right up. He's grabbing it in the first year, running behind it. So oh, he's still, right. okay. he's still, he's still, still let go. He held on. He just panicked, and I'm screaming. Wow. He's just he's Mike. running, trying to catch up with the thing. Our neighbor had just put on that was back in the day of the uh, aluminum siding, you know, and they just had aluminum siding all put on them like a week before these. And, he, and you remember the old TV antenna poles where they found them in the concrete? Yeah, it's like the biggest went up, you know, so high. Well, he ran that motorcycle in between our house and that big pole. <laughs> and my handlebars just went like, whoop, and grabbed a piece of aluminum right. siding, I don't know ripped anything it completely about off the side of the house. <laughs> Brand new siding. Oh, I could have killed him. How did it hold the cube with you? Man, it did not feel good. <laughs> that kid was always getting me in trouble. It was, oh, my, he was always getting me in trouble. I don't know why I didn't learn faster. <laughs> One time we I had a bow and arrow, and he wanted to shoot my bow, and uh, we set up a target in the back, you know, and. and